Actor, comedian Rob Schneider was having a pretty good year. He has a new baby, his Netflix show got picked up for another season, and he broke over a half million Twitter followers. Then he got an idea. An awful idea. Rob Schneider got a wonderful, awful idea. <laughs> he decided to make paella for dinner and take a picture of it and post the picture on Twitter. And he made it in the wrong kind of pan. And he's not even from Spain. And so, of course, the social justice warriors threw a huge hissy fit, as only they can do. Uh, you know, you could have circled the equator with the twisted panties on this on this one tweet. I'm Steve Green with Bill Whittle and Scott Ott, and this is The Right Angle on Social Justice Warriors and Trolling the Trollers, brought to you by the paying members of BillWhittle.com. All right, gents, it's now cultural appropriation to make Spanish food while not Spanish, this, according to Brooklyn hipsters who dress like Vermont lesbians while sporting Canadian lumberjack beards and discussing the best place to go for gluten-free kimchi tacos. I mean, it was so bad that Salon came to Rob Schneider's defense on this one. I'm not kidding. Salon said, no, no, you've gone too far. But there's a, a serious side to this story brought to my attention today by Tom Crapman at EveryJoe.com. As Tom reminds us, this is the face of the enemy. Trigly puff. Temper tantrums. Uh, the, the social justice warrior in full bloom, angry, pathetic, entitled, pathetic, and mostly pathetic. Now, Tom's great idea is that we ought to trigger these people. We ought to troll them. We ought to provoke their most outrageous behavior because they become more pathetic with every tantrum they throw. Uh, Bill, Rob Schneider was a, a gentleman in the face of his attackers, and as a Hollywood celebrity, maybe that was the best path for him to take. But I want you to put on your thinking sombrero and, and tell us how Bill Whittle would have responded to this kind of attack. My first response would be, did they attack him in English? <laughs> yes. How dare they appropriate our language? How dare they? How dare they appropriate our technology and our companies like um, Twitter and so on? I'm frankly outraged. That's about the only response they get and deserve. Uh, this idea of trolling the left is a good idea for two reasons, I think. First of all, since Donald Trump's uh, election, we've really seen how, how much of the left is just nothing but lawless crybabies. Lawless, temper tantrum throwing crybabies. And the more the American people in the middle see of these people, the less they like them. That helps us politically. The reason I think we should troll them as well is because it will trigger them into these emotional outbursts. And believe it or not, I'd like to do that because I think it would be the best thing for them as well. This is the kind of thing that should happen to you when you're four or five or six. You should run into big, big obstacles that no matter how much you scream and cry, you simply cannot get around. You are not going to watch TV tonight or whatever. These poor people, because that's really what they are, it's like Triglypuff, never has had to deal with anything that didn't get out of her substantial way. So... Um, we are stuck in a world where we have grown children, and the more we start trolling them, which is giving them something that they're not used to or can't handle, the better it is for us politically, and I think the better it is for them personally. Now, uh, Scott, as a patriarchal, cisgendered Christian of pallor who lives in Texas, don't you think it's time to stop turning the other cheek and start giving as good as you get, so to speak, from these uh, self-described warriors? Well, first of all, I'm shaking uncontrollably right now from the waist down because I just know that by the nature of video itself, Bill is going to have to include a picture of the aforementioned Trigley oh, thing. Oh, you betcha. Uh, <sighs> and this I've got is just, video. yeah. Anyway, um, actually, I am a little bit more with uh, <laughs> with the comedian's response to this. I, I, I don't know if it's a fruitful thing to taunt them for a couple of reasons. Number one, because I can never tell when I read these threads or these uh, series of Twitter wars, I can never tell which people are actually social justice warriors and which people are pretending to be social justice warriors because they think it's the most lame and hilarious thing that they've ever heard. And so, and they get so extreme that you keep thinking, well, is this real? And you know, the retweets of, oh, look what this social justice warrior said. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm guessing that about half the time, it's actually just somebody doing satire. So that just makes me a little bit guarded in the process. Uh, but secondly, I, I'm not sure they'll ever get it 
through ridicule. I think the best thing that you can do is behave like a gentleman, um, you know, make your Spanish food, move on and kind of ignore the insults and let the Twitterverse chatter away. Um, I, I don't think that this is a breakable habit by, you know, rolling up a paper and swatting the puppy on the nose. I think the puppy has to poop and the puppy is going to poop on the carpet if he has to poop while he's on the carpet. You no, could I, use I, a I, series I, of Claymore mines. Has anybody given that <laughs> <laughs> Or a Claymore sword. Uh, uh, Scott, uh, you know, I, I, I think you've got the wrong puppy analogy. I think it's more like finding the, your, your puppy's tickle spot. And the way to reveal these social justice warriors is, 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 you just, is just to, to, to feel around. And then you'll, you'll, you'll see the right response. You'll, you'll know what it is, just, just like your dog's ribs. All right, folks, uh, getting more serious here. Justice is one of the most noble and ennobling ideals in, in all of mankind's checkered history. It's, it's right up there with life, liberty, and the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. So I choose to troll the social justice warriors with the truth. And the truth is, you are awful people. The worst. Just awful. There's nothing social about justice. What you call justice is no better than mob rule, using shame and threats and even the law to silence people you disagree with, that you can't handle. That makes you antisocial. That means you've perverted justice. And since you're anything but warriors, you have no way to cope with what's coming. It's going to be so fun. And that is the right angle on trolling the trolley buffs. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.